Abundance of early voting is leading to talks of the possibility of voter fraud. Fox News' Darion Henderson has the latest on a tool St. Louis voters can use to track their mail-in ballots. The biggest takeaway from Tuesday debate is to vote. But the question lingering is the integrity behind the election process. And if it's a fair You're election, what? I am 100% on board. It's honest. No one has established at all that there is fraud related to mail-in ballots. President Donald Trump and former Vice President Joe Biden may have different opinions on Americans utilizing mail-in and absentee ballots, but that's not stopping millions from already stepping up to the polls. Between today and last Tuesday, there's never been a period during business hours when there hasn't been someone in our building voting. Ben Borgmeyer is the Democratic Director for the St. Louis City Board of Elections. Absentee voting started last week, and he says lines have already been wrapped around the election board's office. We've been seeing daily turnout for in-person absentee voting around 300 a day. That's why now, to make sure St. Louis City voters know their vote is counted, each mail-in ballot will come with a tracking number that can be entered in an online tracker that will alert voters when their ballot has been received and counted. So it's a really simple process. It's a website. It's just like tracking a package from UPS. Additional tool, I think, will give them that peace of mind. Gary Stoff is the Republican director for the St. Louis City Board of Elections. He says voters can rest assured there's no funny business going on with their votes and everything is done in a bipartisan way. Everything is done in teams, bipartisan teams, Republican and Democrat. Both directors are making it crystal clear if you do plan on mail-in voting, your ballot must be received by November 3rd at 7 p.m., regardless of the postmark on the mail. With so much at stake for this election year, it's an all-hands-on-deck effort making sure integrity isn't lost. The whole thing is about uh, accountability. In downtown St. Louis, Darion Henderson, Fox 2 News.